Yo, what's up you guys? It's Dominique and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going through my entire gym bag and I'm sharing with you guys all the essentials you need. I had finally gotten my hands on a gym bag. Yes, it's 2023 and I still did not have a gym bag. I would just use like little purses and like random little Lululemon bags I had at home and then just end up carrying everything else in my hands. And it was honestly very inconvenient, very unorganized and my car was basically my gym bag. It was just messy, but the reason why I did not have a gym bag for so long is because I was really picky with one. I wanted one that I liked and I feel like all of them are just way too big and bulky and I didn't need that much room, but I found one that I've fallen in love with. I think it is perfect and let's get right into it. I am filming on a new camera by the way and I don't know how I feel about it. I just switched over from the Sony ZV-E to the Canon Mark III. It's a stressful ride because I have no idea what I'm doing and the settings are just... So I don't know, let me know if you guys like the quality on this camera better more than the camera I was using prior. So this should be interesting. So I am just noticing how bad the focus quality is on this camera. So I want to apologize in advance for how unfocused some of the clips are i'm sorry i'm still learning onto the bag reveal the gym bag that i had purchased is the 437 tote bag i love the shape of this the size and it just fits so perfectly on the shoulder but what i love about this bag is the simplicity of it how it's easy to carry around it's light and honestly i have so much room in here and it's not like excessively big so that is a plus First thing I have is my pre-workout. I've been using the Ghost pre-workout for quite a while now and honestly I don't think I'm going to continue using this because I do not find that it does anything for me and I've come to the conclusions that I see no energy difference. But I'm still going to finish this and I'm not going to waste it. I'm just using the Flavor Grape and this is the Welch's Glab. Great flavor but the benefits, they're not really there. Then I have um, a hairbrush, pretty self-explanatory. I will usually do my hair before I get to the gym, but I always like to keep a hairbrush handy with me anywhere. I also have one in my car, so if I need to, I'll use that. But since I have the room now, I thought I would just keep one in my bag with me. I have some body butters and body cream. This is an essential, and if you do not carry body cream in your gym bag, what are you doing? Get on it. This one is just the Cocoa Honey by Creations, just a random body cream I got from my nail tech. And then I had just purchased this one from the Body Shop. It's a whipped body butter in vanilla pumpkin. I love having glowy, shiny, smooth skin when I'm in the gym, especially since I'm wearing like shorts and a sports bra. I don't want to be looking dry or ashy or anything. But ladies and gentlemen, if you do not carry body cream with you, start doing so. I have my little barbell band that came in this little pouch. I used to just carry this pouch around. I got this off Amazon. I, I will link all the equipment and everything that I've shown in this video in the description below in case you guys are interested. But I just got this from Amazon. It's a little, just a little pink barbell and it's been very well loved. I have my little booty ankle strap for any kickbacks and all that jazz. I just have a little pink one. I love pink gym equipment. I think it's a little extra and I have to stop myself sometimes when I'm looking online because I feel like I show up to the gym with like pink everything and then I have a bright neon pink water bottle but I, I'm gonna be that extra person. And then I just have this little booty band with the rubber inside. I highly, highly recommend if you're looking for new bands, get one with this rubber inside so that it doesn't slide up your thighs. I have not used these in like over a year. I should honestly throw it out. I don't know why I still have it, but I'm just keeping it in case it comes in handy one day. I'm sure it will. I really don't know, but yeah, I actually haven't used this in years. So she stays at the bottom of this pouch. I have my gloves, and yes, you can make fun of me all you want for using gloves in the gym, but I tell everyone who calls me out for wearing these, would you rather have a lady with gross calluses, bleeding, rough hands, or do you want a lady with soft, pretty, smooth hands? Choose your pick. Um, but I also find that I can lift a lot heavier in these and I have better grip because my grip is not the best and my wrists are so weak. So I'm going to do what I have to do to get the gains. And if you don't like the look that comes with it, 
you do you. Next I have are my wristbands. I bought these off Amazon. I will link them down below as well. They're just black and pink. I don't use these as often anymore, but the odd here and there I will. And I have a little body spray. This is the Dirt Kiss by Bath & Body Works. As you can see, I literally have nothing left in here. I've had this for years. This is the one I have been using. For the gym, I don't really care to put my expensive perfume on, so I'll just use some of my body sprays, but highly recommend, especially with the body cream and the body spray. Like, you want to smell good. You know, you're sweating. You're getting all gross and all that. Just, just keep a little spray in hand. Talking about body odors, I keep a deodorant in my gym bag always. I usually apply my deodorant before I leave the house, but in case I forget to do so or I have to like run an errand after the gym, I will keep some. This is my favorite deodorant. It is the Dove. This one is in the pomegranate scent, one of my favorite ones. I have my headphones. I like to alternate between which headphones I like to use. So I have my AirPods here. I usually prefer to use my AirPods on leg days because I find my beats are pretty bulky. Sometimes I'll get like self-conscious wearing my beats. I'm like, do I look weird? Do I look bulky? And then I'll just switch over to my AirPods. And my beats also hurt my piercings and like just push against them. Comment down below if you have the same problem. But yeah, I just like to alternate, you know, whichever whichever vibe we're feeling that day. Then I have my wallet. Now I really have no purpose for my wallet at the gym, but I do drive to the gym. So I need to have my license in there. And just in case anything happens, I showed you guys this wallet in my what's in my bag video. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I will link it up on the screen here. This is a Kate Spade wallet, very durable. Love her. But then in this bag, it also has two little pouches at the top here. I haven't really filled up much, but I do have some lip products in here. So they have a little skinny one and then a bigger one with the logo. Um, I just keep my lip essentials because if you know me, I do not go anywhere without lip products. No, so I do not wear makeup to the gym really ever. Like sometimes I will, but I really don't. But I will do my lips. She is a must. So I just have this little lip saw chapstick and then my favorite Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner along with the lipstick. And I said this in a TikTok. Also, if you don't follow me on TikTok, you should at Dominique Bruno. But this lipstick smells like chocolate creamsicles. I highly recommend. So that is everything that is in my gym bag. As you can guys see, it, there is a lot of room in here and I'm really excited to get some good use out of this. Yes, I know it is beige and it is going to get dirty extremely fast, but we are going to try our hardest to prevent that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week.